Diddy's lawsuit against Don Richard reveals more than just him. This scandal is starring studded. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The controversy surrounding singer Don Richard's lawsuit is still ongoing as more details come to light. Particularly claims that Cassie Ventura was severely attacked by hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs in front of prominent guests at a West Hollywood dinner. The lawsuit describes a dinner party in 2009 or 2010 where Diddy reportedly assaulted his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in front of superstars including Usher, Neo, and Jimmy Iovine, the former CEO of Interscope Records. As stated in the lawsuit, in the weeks and months leading up to the Bad Boy Interscope deal, Mr. Combs had frequent meetings with producer and then-CEO of Interscope Records Jimmy Iovine. On one such occasion, Combs hosted a dinner at a West Hollywood, California restaurant, which Ms. Richard and Ms. Harper were required to attend. The filing goes on to describe an alleged argument between Diddy and Cassie that resulted in a public display of abuse. Among the guests at the dinner were celebrities like Neo and Usher, as well as Mr. Iovine. At the dinner, Mr. Combs and Ms. Ventura had an argument. In front of the dinner guests, Mr. Combs hissed at Ms. Ventura in a screaming whisper and forcefully punched her in the stomach, causing her to double over in visible pain, crying. Ms. Clark escorted Ms. Ventura out of the restaurant, and Mr. Combs remained and continued socializing with the dinner guests. The lawsuit claims that people close to Diddy were aware of his allegedly harmful behavior against women and seeks to draw attention to it. The lawsuit claims that the Bad Boy Interscope agreement went through, financially enriching Diddy and allegedly allowing him to continue his violent behavior without facing consequences, despite the presence of prominent witnesses, including music entrepreneur Jimmy Iovine. Numerous more incidents of harassment and intimidation against Cassie and Don Richard are detailed in the lawsuit, which was filed in the Southern District of New York. The charges include verbal abuse, assault, sexual battery, and purposeful infliction of emotional distress. Through his lawyer Erica Wolf, Diddy has replied, calling the case a crass ploy to extract money. Trick Daddy posted a vintage picture of himself and Young Miami to Instagram on Monday, not revealing to followers who the little girl is. I've taken so many pics throughout my career but who can guess who these kids here? Trick asked in the caption of the post. When the Shade Room reshared the image, Young Miami hopped in the comments section to reveal she's one of the girls. FR Shade Room delete me, she wrote with laughing emojis. That's me and my sister y'all at its mixit wo 5 we was to ugly omg. Other fans in the comments made plenty of jokes about the image. Trick looking like he finna beat up the cameraman after he get done taking pictures, one user wrote. Others brought up Miami's past relationship with Diddy. One fan came to her defense in that regard. Can y'all stop bringing up Diddy every time you see her please? She had a name before him and she's still doing her after him. Let it go. Trick Daddy has already made headlines for saying that young Miami's admirers are more interested in her than in JT, her companion in City Girls. While talking about her on It's Tricky with Raquel Harper, he had alluded to Miami's revolt series, Carisha Please. I'm not saying that to the talent-wise, cause the City Girls is the hottest group out there talent-wise, he clarified at the time. I'm talking about for the stuff that she is promoting. Now, I seen Carisha on her podcast, she had P. Diddy on there blushing like a 14-year-old boy. She got something down there, you feel me. I don't know what care she got going on, but she got something down there. Trick Daddy took to the internet earlier this week to express his gratitude for Glorilla. He complimented her bathroom with a snapshot of her posing in a mirror that he uploaded. Damn Glow I'm loving this bathroom, he wrote. Social media users were quick to criticize him, as was to be anticipated. Many criticized his actions, saying that showing public affection for the TGIF artist was rude and unsettling. Still, it appears that Trick Daddy was unfazed by the criticism. I wouldn't know what to do with Big Glows. Niggas ain't got no balls. Y'all suck that pussy and make a rap about me, nigga. He returned to social media today, and this time he was very precise in what he said regarding Glorilla. He basically indicated that she would rap about it after they had a sexual encounter. If I suck that fat pussy, you gonna rap about me, nigga. This is disturbing to say the least, one Instagram user writes. Immediately no, someone else says. Glorilla hasn't responded to his comments so it's still unclear how she feels about anything. But Trick Daddy has been supporting other femcees lately as well. One of the most hottest female rappers in decades, Sexy Red. Earlier this month, he gave Sexy Red a shout out on his podcast. She isn't the only one. At the time, he was far more polite and said she was overlooked at the BET Awards. Sexy Red was up for the rapper, entertainer, performer. One of them other year. I remember last year, they was hating on her since she wasn't making. Now I can't go in a club. I can't step in a club without hearing some Sexy Red. In 2024, Glorilla has undoubtedly been having her moment. All things considered, she deserves all of the attention she is receiving. After releasing her breakthrough single, Yeah Glow. 
Her year started off to a great start. Maybe her most confident hit to date, A Thing A Thing, is the main single from her mixtape. Furthermore, Megan Thee Stallion has been giving Big Glow an extra push. One of the biggest benefits of their partnership on Wannabe was that it allowed them to perform together on the latter's Hot Girl Summer Tour. At last, she has another song that is currently on the TGIF trend. It preaches a hot night out in more ways than one, making it maybe the summer rap anthem. Glow Rilla's most recent album features more memorable lyrics, similar to Yeah Glow. The ones that are making waves online right now are Crop top with some biker shorts, I'm showing off my moose nook. That's referring to the contour that tight clothing makes around a woman's intimate area. Glow refers to the new fad that this bar has started as Moose Knuckle Monday in addition to the dance TGIF that has taken off on TikTok. The first well-known performer to join this trend was Ice Spice, who flaunted her figure in a pink bodysuit. Glow, who posted three pictures of herself in beige yoga shorts and a tight black shirt, came in second. NLE Choppa, a fellow rapper from Memphis, was put into a trance by this collage and even took his shot. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Glow on fire. Fire. And she getting a little thicker. We see you. For a little while now, the Camelot MC has been closely monitoring her female contemporary. During a recent interview at the BET Awards, Choppa acknowledged Glow Rilla's musical contributions to the community while also praising her curvier appearance. That ain't fat now, Glow. We see what you're doing, man. She <laughs> must have been on her oats. I don't know what she's doing.